Hello everyone, we will continue the topic WebDyne Pro ABAP and in the previous video, we started with messages in WebDyne Pro ABAP. So as a part of that, we took a requirement that we will go for messages if user is not giving the sales order number or if user is giving the wrong value of sales order number. So we created the two messages into the message class messages stored into T100 table. In the web Pro application, we simply put a if condition, if user is not giving the sales order number and in the assistance class method, we simply set a flag to capital X. That is a returning parameter if user is giving the wrong input of sales order number. And in our, assist, in our web Dyn Pro component, we simply simply get that particular flag and we put a if condition. Now we will go for writing the message. If user is not giving the sales order number, we will give the message. If user is giving the wrong input of sales order number, then we will give the message. And in WebDen Pro, it is very, very easy because I already told you in WebDen Pro, we hardly have to write some, we hardly had to write some logic. We will simply, simply use the WebDen Pro code wizard to generate the code. So how we will do that? Suppose I will put a cursor here because if this, if condition is true, we will give the message. I will simply go for WebDen Pro code wizard. So far, we covered context. You all know with the help of context, we read the attribute, we set the attribute, we use at the stable operation also. Now I will go for general. And I already told you whenever some topic will be covered, whatever is related to that, that will also be covered. Now you can see we have so many radio buttons here. We will simply, simply go for this radio button, create message because we want to go for message. Whenever you will simply go for this create message, you can see in message manager, this name of the interface is automatically coming. If underscore WD underscore message underscore manager, it is a web pro message manager. Word itself is saying it is a manager for the messages in web pro. Suppose if I will simply, simply go for this interface and show you in SC24 transaction port. You all know SC24 is the transaction port for global classes and interfaces. If I will display this particular interface, you can see in the properties tab, it is an interface for the message manager. And you can see we have so many messages here. We simply have to call a message depends upon our requirement. Now, suppose if the name of the interface is automatically appearing. Now I will go to F for help and call a mess, call a method. In ABAP object oriented programming, we are doing the same to same thing. We are passing the name of the class. We are calling the method same to same thing we are doing here. Now, why I cover T100 table? Because based upon that only, it will help us to call that particular method. And that is most, most preferable method. Suppose you can see we have so many methods, depends upon the requirement, you will use a particular method. But you can see we have a method here, report T100 message. Report a message using a T100 entry. Yes, our message is in T100 table. Now people will say we have other T100, 100 also. See, this, this is report attribute T100 message. It is for WebDyne Pro exception. Suppose if I will go for this, this is also exception. This T100, this is absolute. We want to go for message which is in T100 table. So I will simply go for this particular method. And many times with the help of this method, we will, our, we will always fulfill our requirement. That's why I told you that our messages stored into T100 table. So I will simply use this particular method. Now I will go for OK. 
Now you can see SAP generated the code automatically. And this is the method report T100 method, which we called. Yes. Now people will say so many parameters are coming. These parameters are in this method itself. Suppose if I will go for this method report T100 message. You can see we have so many importing parameter. All importing will become exporting here. You can see all importing are treating as exporting. And whatever is returning, this is returning. And this is our returning. Returning is acting as receiving here. Now here, the same to same thing we will do now. You all know what is message ID. Message ID is name of the message class. What is the name of our message class? This is the name of our message class. This one is the name of our message class. Now, after that, we simply have to pass the things. Now, message number. What is the message number? Triple zero. Now, after that, message type. Message type means you want to go for error message. You want to go for information. You want to go for success message. This is what we will pass. Now, after that, you can see we have P1 to P4. You all know P1 to P4 means they are four parameters. In a message, you can pass up to how many M percent? 4 M percent. So these 4 M percent will simply, simply pass the values to these four parameters. As of now, we have only 1 M percent that is also in 001 message. It is not into this particular message. So whenever we will pass all these things, it will simply return the message to us. So whatever this message is there, it will simply return this particular message. So now what I will do, whatever the logic which SAP generated, I will simply put the data declaration at the top. It is always a best practice. We'll simply, simply put the data declaration at the top. And this is all SAP generated logic. If WD message manager, just now I showed you this is the interface. Yes. Now this all generated logic. Now we will pass the various things. Now, what is our message class? Our message class is ZWD underscore message. Now, what is our message number? I will simply go for triple zero. Now we will go for message type. Suppose our message type is E. Anyways, we are not going for all these things. So you can remove also. Now, whenever you will pass these things in the return, it will give you the message. Suppose I'm saying LV underscore message. So what will be the type of LV underscore message? It will be same as that of message underscore ID. So the best way, always double click and check that type. This message underscore ID, it is of which type? String type. So I will simply write data LV underscore message type string. So into this LV underscore message, we will get the message. Now, first part is done. Now we will come on to second part. If user is giving the wrong input, this flag will be set to capital X. Again, we will give the message. So I will go for web 10 pro code wizard. Yes, you need to go to general. Message manager, name of the interface wizard will automatically come. You can simply choose the method. I will go for OK. Now, this is repetitive declaration. You can simply remove this data date declaration. Now, you can pass the name of the message ID. Now, this time, we need to go for 001. But message class is same to same. We will pass this message class. What is the message number? Now we want to go for double zero one. And what is our message type? We will go for E. Now, 
we have four parameters but we are only going for one one because we are only going for one m percent so we'll simply uncomment this we want to go for order number this is incorrect order number suppose four five six seven is incorrect so we'll simply simply give in which variable you have the sales order number it is in lb underscore vbeln so we will pass so it will simply simply replace this into this message number we will remove all these things it is not required now here i will simply go for lv underscore message now i will get a error for type casting so i will do the type casting suppose i will check the syntax it will give me the error for this it is saying lv vb eln is not type compatible with p1 this p1 is not compatible with this you all know lv underscore vb eln is of character 10 suppose if I, I will check the type of p1 what is the type of p1 the type of p1 is this so i will simply simply copy this type it is character 50 so i will take a variable i will do the type casting suppose i am declaring a variable lv underscore p1 type so this is of character 50 now i will simply pass the value to this variable you always have to do that type casting. So here I will write dot will be here. I will simply write LV underscore P1 is equal to LV underscore VBEN. So whatever is LV VBLN, I am passing it to LV underscore P1 and LV underscore P1 I will pass here. Now both have same to same time. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are giving the messages. If user is not giving the sales order number or if user is giving the wrong value of sales order number, nothing. It's very easy in the Webden Pro app app. You can go to Webden Pro Code Wizard in the journal tab. You have a radio button, create message. Go for that radio button. The, you are already getting a interface for the message manager. That interface is dedicatedly for Webden Pro message manager, which has so many methods. You can simply call a method and we call the method report T100 message. Widely, widely used method. Maximum time, this particular method is fulfilling our requirement. It is for displaying a message from T100 table. Whenever you are calling this method, SAP generates the logic automatically. I simply put the data declaration at the top. And after that, we pass the value of the message ID, message number, and message type. It will return the message in the return. After that, in this particular second if condition also we called that logic whatever the data declaration is repetitive we have not done that we have simply removed that okay now after that we pass the values but for this p1 first parameter if we directly pass the value of sales order number we are getting a type casting error so i double clicked just copy pasted the type i declared one variable I pass the value to that variable and I pass that variable to this particular message. Now in the next video, we will understand in the debugging mode. And after that only, I will put one more if condition because that is important because without debugging, you see, we have written the logic, but whenever I will execute in the debugging mode, we need to write extra conditions also that part will be covered in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.